Today, we're going on a field trip with molecular architect Helen Tran and chemistry undergrad Hannah to make thermochromic, color-changing slime. We're going into the lab to learn what butterfly wings, mood rings, and chemistry have in common, how different temperature and light wavelengths cause colors to change, and the real-world applications of thermochromic fabrics. <laughs> cleaning solution. You use it for dishwasher as well. And I'm just going to stir it to make sure that the powder has dissolved into a liquid. And then I'll stir in another beaker. I'm going to put some glue to the water. And then we're going to add the borax to it after, the borax mixture after that. And it's starting to get harder and a bit more slimy. Yay! <laughs> I'm just going to keep stirring. Yeah, you can continue adding borax into it depends to the consistency that you like. And this is the thermochromic dye that we're gonna add to our material. And then I'll add a little bit. Hannah will start mixing it in. Oh. And I'll, I'll continue to give her a little bit more. Just like keep massaging, doing this for a few minutes, eventually turn into a really nice putty. Oh. And they're thermochromic, so that means that they'll be changing with temperature. I have today three types of dyes, the, the pigments actually, and this is what will give the thermochromic properties. I have a purple pigment here, as well as a yellow pigment, and I also have a photochromic pigment. And what I really like about these um, materials is that they have really interesting chemistry properties. So at first, everything is kind of this um, color of the pigment, but if you cool it down, it'll turn white. So like, why is that happening? So there's different types of thermochromic dyes. So there's things like butterfly wings. So butterfly wings, the way they get their color is structural color. It's not the way like a clothes and dyed in the color. But within the butterfly wing, there's a repeating pattern, a really small distance in the nano scale. And so when, hit, when light hits it, it hits the repeating pattern in such a way that it filters and turns into like blue for the butterfly. And so sometimes these pigments can also do the same thing. Okay, so now this what Hannah's holding is a UV lamp. So as you know from the sun, the sun is shining all types of UV wavelengths. And here we have a lamp that's showing one UV wavelength. So yeah, wavelength. it's showing 365 nanometers. Yeah, and that's higher than the original one. So in the original wavelength that I had, it was a bit less. So the the putty didn't turn purple, yeah. and, then and now, now it did. Now we can see it because of the higher frequency of light. So now it's stronger. You can actually see it's like this really beautiful purple color, and with time you actually see it fade back to white. Um, and you can actually see the other side of white because it didn't get the exposure to the sun. Yeah. Have you? Well, when I was younger, <laughs> the moon ring. of a thermochromic material, right? But, you know, thinking about like what else is next, you can have these thermochromic or photochromic material on textiles, for instance. Mm -hmm. So imagine Hannah's beautiful shirt here, mm -hmm. and each of these, are these carrots? So imagine if those were thermochromic or photochromic material. So if they were thermochromic material, and Hannah's are getting too hot, they could change color. And that can give you an indication of your thermal body heat, right? Yeah. Or on the other hand, if you have a photochromic material and she's getting too much sun exposure, now we can see like, okay, this is, you've been in the sun too much, so it can be an indication um, of what, how you should behave. Like, okay, I've had too much sun exposure, so I'll go in. It's also helpful, like, let's say like you're biking at night and you're wearing a photochromic um, like jacket. Mm -hmm. so like. During the day, like it wouldn't be like an alarming color, but then at night it can turn into something that's actually very helpful for you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.